Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. This is your Open Universalist 3 Divine Wind Death and Taxes version 7.2. And I feel like it's time to get a Let's Play going. Now, in version 7 of Death and Taxes, they have focused quite a bit on Asia. Uh, there's some interesting stuff they've done in the Persian area. Uh, a whole lot of changes they did in India. You can see all these new provinces and new countries and everything. Uh, Indonesia has been retooled, all the vassals of Majapahit and all that stuff. And uh, China has been redone, and uh, Manchuria as well. And I want to play as one of the Chinese miners. Now, the minor states over here don't have a whole lot of power, but their main obstacle is each other. Yuan does not really prevent, not does not really pose that much of a threat to them directly because Yuan will have a ton of internal revolts. So I want to play as somebody who is weak. So it'll be impressive when we when we pull out victory over all this bullshit going on. I'm not going to do Ming. I'm not going to do Tianwan or Dahan because they're both like seven or eight provinces. Um, actually, well, I think I think Zahan's like five provinces. Does those four provinces? Fong is one, two, one, two, three, four provinces. Xi'an is one, two, three provinces. And Shia is one, two, three provinces. You know what? <clears throat> Let's do Shia. Uh, they're kind of in the corner, kind of tucked away, and uh, yeah. So all of the settings we have, we're going to do normal, 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 normal. Difficulty on very hard. Everything else on normal except Lucky Nations, none. Just like I always play. Let's get in there. Very hard campaign as Shia. Now this is going to be interesting because we have Protect Our Brethren in Gejiuli down here. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to be interesting because since we are a Celestial Empire, you can see our infamy limit is only 6. Very hard difficulty reduces infamy limit by 10, and Celestial Empire reduces it by another 10. So we have like no infamy limit at all. It's super low, meaning we can't really take any provinces from anyone. Except, except Yuan. Yuan is a Mongol dynasty that took over most of China. So props to them, good job. But what that means is they are the wrong culture and the wrong religion for holding these lands. So we have Chinese unification causes belly against them, which reduces the infamy by most of it. So each territory only costs one infamy, which is useful because our infamy limit is only six. So we couldn't even annex Shan right next to us because that would be 12 infamy, that'd be too much. Can't annex Lana because that's eight infamy and that is too much. So instead of all that bullshit, we're gonna have to go to war with Yuan. But before we go to war, let's uh, first and foremost, let's get a what do we have? We have two soldiers. Let's get a, an army going here. Need to start building up that military. And let's get an alliance over here. Unlikely with Ming. Let's get a marriage with Ming. Xi'an, you want an alliance? Sure. Who else wants a marriage? Tianwan, you want a marriage? Sure. And that's all of our diplomats. Put the speed up a bit. Uh, conquest on UN, tribal conquest on UN, Chinese unification on UN. Yeah, pretty much all of our causes bellies are on UN, and we don't have anything else on anyone else, which is fine. So, as a Chinese miner, we start out with a bunch of penalties. Land tech mm, costs 80% more, production tech 80%, trade tech, government tech, everything costs more. Naval tech costs 200% more. So that means is we're not going to be studying anything for a long, 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 long time. So until we're ready to study anything, let's go ahead and well, first obviously let's get this up to something respectable. And let's unpause. Oh yeah, all this initial stuff has to happen. Got our alliance, got two marriages. Yuan wants an alliance. Oh my goodness. Uh no, we can't do that. Or maybe we should accept it and then dishonor it? Um, 
that is tempting. I don't want to hold an alliance with them for a period of time, for a long period of time. But just having one temporarily would not be bad, because it just means they won't go to war with us for, for whatever. All right, we'll accept it for now. Just for now. Oh, we failed to complete our mission to protect Geuji. Oh, because we're allied with them now. Oh. Well, that sucks. What's our mission, then? We don't got one. Royal marriage with Yuan. No, we're not going to do that. Who's this? Peggy wants an alliance. No. Not going to royal marry you, Yuan. All right, so you have... Two, 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 six. You have eight troops down here. You have five troops right there. That's it. You have 13,000 troops. So Yuan starts out with, you know, pretty weak. But they can recruit a whole lot more than that. Don't don't let them fool you. Allied with Dazu, Allied with Tibet. We need to get some alliances with these other Chinese miners. We need to get buddy-buddy. Then we can drop the alliance with Yuan. You already... Oh, you declared war on... Oh, Tian Wan declared war on Yuan. Interesting. Tian Wan unification war against Yuan. That is interesting. Uh, no, we're not going to join your war against Tian Wan. I don't think so. All right. So good. So that's exactly what I wanted to happen. I wanted to prevent Yuan from getting alliances with other Chinese miners. So they allied with us. And that meant they wouldn't ally with someone else. And now they're going to go to war with uh, Ming and Tianwan at the same time. That's going to be a good opportunity for us to go to war with Yuan. Ouch. Prestige hit. Ouch. That hurts. We lost 22 prestige for declining their alliance. Royal marriage, sure. So Yuan has no allies anymore. They're at war with Ming, Tianwan, and Tibet. This is a perfect time for us to declare war on them, except that we don't have enough troops right now. Actually, we do. You know what? We can we can get started with just this minimal amount of troops. Well, let's wait a few months, because I want them to send all of their troops up to fight these guys. And while they're fighting these guys, it would be a good opportunity for us to uh, attack. All right, you guys are all set. That's fine. We don't even have a fucking diplomat, goodness. Alright, so they, they are now building reinforcements. And they have some rebel problems. We'll let him go away. More rebel problems, good. Yuan's always going to have lots of rebels. Who's this, Tibet? Yeah, we'll ally with Tibet, why not? Tibet is also at war with Yuan. Good. Let's just have everyone go to war with Yuan. That sounds like fun. They have no allies. I like it. As soon as you leave, you're leaving in May. Alright, that's good enough. Wartime. Chinese unification. Call our allies, of course. Invade, invade, invade. Accumulate money. Yeah, whatever. And just keep recruiting troops. So yeah, Yuan should be focusing up here against Ming and Tianwan. I mean, that's going to be a strong alliance, Ming and Tianwan. Rise of the Red Turbans happened to us. National Revolt Risk, National Manpower, Force Limits, War Exhaustion. Cool.
Fong declared war on Yuan. Good. Everyone's going to war with Yuan. This is excellent. Xi'an's giving us money. Nice. Political crisis. Lose stability or gain infamy? Well, I don't want the infamy because our infamy limit is 5.45. So, well, we'll have to lose the stability, I guess. And like we're, it's not like we're getting any technology right now, so. Four. Where did you get four troops from? God damn it. Hmm. I guess we'll go here instead. Oh, he's running to here. Interesting. Wait, we don't have a general, do we? We did not make a general. Hmm, this could be bad. They have 6,000 guys down here now? God damn it. I guess we'll bring our general on the next army. Alright, now we can make a general. Out of our ruler, of course, because I don't got 50 gold to just buy one. It looks like our buddies are beating down that army. Excellent. to Dayun, and you're running to Chongqing. Oh, so you're not even going to attack this place anymore? I guess we will then. Minus five attacking penalty. Ouch. Yeah, let's go help that fight. All right, we won. We chased him off. Good. You know, all the little, it's good to see all the, all the little Chinese provinces at war with Yuan at the same time, because it means they're not fighting each other, and fighting each other is the only real way you can lose if you're playing as one of the Chinese miners. Well, early on, early on, you know, each other, you're the worst, your own worst enemy. Oh, fucking hell. God damn it, rebels. Oh, we somehow won that.
Let's see if we can get some alliances going now. No? Unlikely. Marriage. This seems really weird. It's like there's no music for some reason. Yeah, it's creepy. There's no music. What is happening to my world? Oh, we already got Heichi. Cool. One thousand, okay. More deeds, please. Come on, win this. Yes, they're running to. Kunming. All right. Creepy, no music. But at least I have coffee. Let's go attack this motherfucker. Actually, no, let's group up here. Rebel scum. Oh goodness, they're almost done down there. Let's see if we can get there in time, hopefully. We have two diplos. No alliance. Still unlikely. You guys can get annexed. Or Joseon. Ah, good. Fight the rebels for me. Sounds good. How are we at negative 1%? We are somehow at negative 1%, even though we've taken over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 provinces. Whatever.
right, so Ming got one province out of it. Good job, Ming. Now do you want an alliance? No. Like, no, nah, we're cool, man. We're cool. Tibet already got out of the war. Destroyed that army. Excellent. is guaranteeing us. Okay. Interesting. It's showing the flag for Dahan on these Patriots. It says Cantonese Patriots, but Dahan is Chihan. That is so weird. Ah, there's a Yuan army. 16,000 motherfuckers. Yeah, that's a big army. Let's recruit some more guys. Let's get a horsey for a change. Destroyed that army. Excellent. Another horsey. percent on three already damn steamrolling this bitch although our war score is pretty low six percent and Yuan is busy so we'll just keep advancing sixteen thousand though that's a lot Will they accept the white piece? Yes. Will they accept some demands? Yes. Okay, we're getting into the range of shit that we want. Like this, 31. I would love to take those six. Because we're going to have an infamy limit of about six. Just have to wait for our prestige to go up. If that will ever happen. Uh, sure, I 
It's not going to help us with prestige, but it's worth doing anyway. And it looks like they still have some rebel problems, and they're getting invaded by Mogulistan. So, yeah. They will eventually give in to whatever we want. It just takes time. I think I'm going to start grouping up all my troops here in Yichang. So just stay there. Oh, these guys are going to be successful down here? God damn. Uh, let's group up here and we'll take these guys out quickly. Twenty nine per cent. Oh, they might go for peace now. Yes, they would. We could even make them spit out the Oirat horde, which would only be a few provinces, but still. Ooh, baby. Well, I want to do the peace deal, but we just can't handle the infamy right now. So we're going to have to hold on to the war for a little bit until our infamy uh, limit goes up to 6 again. Or we could get... Is there a leader out there or something for infamy limit? Has anyone already made one? So I don't have to recruit one. Apparently not. Alright, let's see if we can get an infamy limit, dude. Level 1. Excellent. That's just what I wanted, a level one dude. There he is at the very bottom. Alright, that increased our infamy limit. Should have increased our infamy limit by 0.5. It's supposed to have increased our ruler's diplomatic skill by 0.5. Yeah. So, please, to be giving me infamy limit, that would be nice. Xi'an just got out of the war. Yeah, 
Royal marriages are good. Just make sure we give everyone military access so they don't invade our dumbass. is dead. Excellent. Now what's our infamy limit? 5.7. So getting that extra dude did not increase our infamy limit. It's supposed to increase our diplomatic skill by 0.5, but it didn't increase our infamy limit at all. That's bothersome. I thought for sure it would. Oh well. Say la vie. So we'll just have to wait for our prestige to go back up. They're just accepting peace all over the place now. We're guaranteed by Dahan. That's nice. How about an alliance instead? Impossible. Oh god, 14,000 motherfuckers. You guys should just go away and leave me alone, okay? Yet is out of the war. So everyone's leaving the war. They've just been in the war too long. We don't have any war exhaustion because we're not fighting any battles anymore. But, uh. Man, if only we had some fucking prestige. So Mogulistan got some of you on, so they're out of that war. Our prestige is not going up. Ouch, negative four penalty. Oh, they're dead. <laughs> Not so threatening. But we are at 35%, so that's good.
Yeah, prestige is not going up. Who's our heir? No heir. Wow. We need a fucking heir. Oh, they got there first. Oh, they got there first. Okay, let's just go group up in Dali. Actually, no, we're still sieging down here. Alliance against Mogulistan. Why? Are there our to bet? Yeah. are breached. Nice. Alright, so 37%. Let's go sit at home. Nothing else to do. 10,000 troops. Still no fucking prestige. You know what? We'll just take five provinces and get out of it. Like that. Oh, they won't accept. What? Why not? Really? Oh, now they won't take anything. What the shit? I don't know. Okay, let's uh, keep invading. That's odd. So many impossible alliances. about now. Oh. Now they'll accept. We just waited one month. Oh, but they still won't take that. I guess we'll get a little bit more war score then, won't we? Every now and then it just recalculates what they'll accept. Now, see, now they'll accept it. It's not like we did anything different. Okay, good. Give me some dollars, too. I like dollars. 50 bucks. And all these provinces. Okay. There we go. We've almost tripled our land. It's fucking excellent. And now we can accept a cultural shift. This will make Cantonese our primary culture. Let's do it. Excellent. We're out of the war now, so we can stop funding our troops. And I would say that is an excellent start to this campaign. Shia. Tibet wants us to help fight Mogulistan. And I guess we will. There's no reason not to. So now we're at war with all these random people, but I don't care. Oh, we can now do Chinese unification against Xi'an. So we can declare war on them for 25% infamy. Very nice. Let's cancel this alliance. Oh, we can't. We're at war. Let's say we can annex their ass pretty easy, but we still have to get rid of our infamy somehow. <laughs> Rise of the Red Turbans is gone. That's fine. Alright, let's go ahead and do our... Uh, yeah, we're already a little bit centralized. Let's go for... Three subjects instead. Revolt risk is going to be a problem. Let's take a look at that super quick. Yep. But that's okay. We'll deal with it. And we have to.
to wait for that truce to expire to be five years from now. That's okay, it's going to take that long for our infamy to go down anyway, so. Ming has embargoed us. Why? Subsidizing Fong, embargoing Shia and Yuan. Why are you embargoing us? Oops. Eh, whatever. I think that's a great place to end this episode. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the start of our Shia campaign. Next time, we will probably do something crazy, like get rid of our alliance with Xi'an and then annex them. Because they, they need to be annexed. Don't tell them. Just don't let them know we're coming, okay? Alright, see you guys then.